Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Bluetooth sleep mask. Yes, this is a sleep mask to cover your eyes, keep the light out with Bluetooth speakers built in so you can listen to music, podcasts, the radio, whatever it may be that you want to listen to without disturbing your neighbor. Now, my wife loves to watch TV. I'd rather listen to something, and I've been using something like this for many years now. I've been very happy with it. In this video, we're going to be reviewing this particular one. This is a little different. It's a new one on the market. We'll talk about the pros and cons of it, how it stands out to the competition, and a whole lot more. First though, if you want to find this on Amazon, pricing changes often, so I don't talk about pricing, other than to say this is a similarly priced unit to many of the ones on the market, but you can find the pricing of it in our Amazon link down below in the show notes and in the first pinned comment, where you can find out some other specifications about it too. Also, if you're new here, help us grow this channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. All right, let's dive into it. Now, right off the bat, this is a pretty standard face mask. You do the Bluetooth controls on the front, I'll get to that in a second. On the back, you've got very nice con padded face mask, a Velcro strap here. Now this is Velcro, some of them have the adjustable straps. Velcro here to tighten it. It is elastic, so it does have a little give here. You can make it tighter, looser to fit your needs. Now, unlike some of these, let me flip this around. There we go. There's no eye pockets. These are just flat. There is a little bit build up around the nose here to help block out the light around the nose on the bottom, but it's flat. Some of the ones I've had before have built up cushions around here where your eyelashes don't feel like they're smashed in. This is more like a piece of uh, fabric or paper just push right up against your eyes with it. Some people like that, some people don't. It's really personal opinion on that. On the front, you do have a power button right here. Hold that. And you got volume up and volume down. This is um, to turn on and off and also pairs. We hold it set into pairing mode to pair to your phone. There is, oh, one other thing. Micro USB, come on, focus right up here. Very hard to see, but there is a micro USB port right there to um, charge it with. Technically, these are removable. There's little ports in here you can reach through there, pull them out so you can wash this. I'll be honest, compared to some of the other ones, this one is harder to get it in and out, but not impossible. It can happen pretty easily. Now with this, a few things. Uh, it advertises about 10 to 12 hours of battery life. I find when I use it, I usually set a sleep timer on what I'm listening to. So it runs for 20, 30 minutes and then it shuts off. I can get a whole week out of a single charge on this doing that. So when I wake up in the morning, I turn it off. It's 10 to 12 hours of play time. Standby Bluetooth battery power is a lot longer. Keep that in mind. And overall, I would say it's good. Now this is no Bose wave for audio. There's no huge, massive speakers in here with high, low, mid range. This is a pretty standard $20 set of headphones kind of sound quality. Uh, I would say it's a little bit better than some of the cheap earbuds I've used in the past, but it's definitely no Bose Wave Radio. But you're not paying anywhere near Bose Wave Radio or Bose quality, whatever it is, uh, sound on it. So keep that in mind. Uh, these are also good blackout, but they're not perfect blackout. These are uh, super blackout uh, eye masks. I know there are many people out there who need absolute total blackness. Well, these are good quality to do that, to black out the light. Uh, it, they're not grade A. They're not perfect for that. So keep that in mind. Everybody is uh, a little different in what their needs. If you're more caring about like I am, about the audio, then that doesn't really matter. But if you're somebody who can't see a sliver of light and want to make sure as you're rolling around, it's not adjusting on your face at all, there are... Uh, eye masks like this that are much more focused on blackout and keeping your eyes completely covered from the light. So keep that in mind. Overall, the comfortability is good. Again, it's a piece of um, cloth right over your eye. There's no pocket, there's no air break between your eyes and the mask. Personal opinion will vary on if you like that or not. I will say the charging is pretty easy. I do wish they were USB-C. Some of the other models out there are USB-C. These are micro USB, so it does come with a US, micro USB cable. No chargers, plug it into any USB charger. It does come with a set of foam ear plugs too, if you so want that, and a carrying case. So for travel case, if you want to put this in a little bag, it does come with a little bag for that too to help it travel with you. Overall, I would say for the price point, 
Now, being a lower mid-range of the competition, this is pretty good. The battery life is good. The sound quality is okay for being what it is. And the eye mask is okay overall. Are there better eye masks? Are there better sound ones? Yes. At this price point though, I would say this is a very good set of, uh, of mask and Bluetooth speakers. Overall, connecting was very easy. You just connect it via Bluetooth like you would any Bluetooth um, speaker on your phone and it works like any set of wireless earbuds you have. So keep that in mind. There is a microphone built in here so you can take phone calls with it. Okay quality. I, I'll be honest, I can't see myself ever wearing this taking phone calls. But if you ever need to, you get a call in the middle of the night, it is able to do that. So keep that in mind. Overall, two thumbs up. It does what it says it will do. It's a eye mask. It's Bluetooth speakers. It does easily run all night. You can charge it in the day, run all night if you want music to play all night long. For me, I just set a sleep timer on my phone and then I can get a week out of it by doing you know, 20, 30 minute increments at a time every night. So leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this. If you want to find it on Amazon, I will pull a link to this on the show notes down below. Overall though, it's a pretty standard, pretty nice little thing, does what it says it's gonna do. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Hopefully we can help you learn something new. Check back for another video real soon. We pump out a lot of these, covering a wide range of products to help you learn something new out there. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. We'll be back with another video real soon.